All right, guys, so a couple weeks ago, we did a live stream, myself and Vino from 60 Second Cocktails and David from Booze on the Rocks, and we were making cocktails generated by artificial intelligence. It was a fun time, it was pretty wacky. And then we got the AI app to basically create a story for us about uh, bartenders in space. And from there, I took that story used AI to generate imagery and generate a, narr a narration voice. It was pretty crazy. So enjoy. This is part two. If you want to see part one, you got to go see David's video. And then part three, you go see Vino's video. Check it out. One day, an alien came into the bar. He was different from any of the others. He was wearing a hooded cloak and he had a strange look in his eye. The bartenders didn't know what to do. Should they serve him? Should they call the authorities? They didn't know, but they decided to serve him. The alien ordered a drink and then he asked to speak to the owner of the bar. The bartenders were getting nervous. Suddenly, the owner of the bar came in. He was surprised to see the alien, but he welcomed him. The alien asked to speak to him in private. The owner agreed and they went into the back room. The bartenders were left alone. They were scared and they didn't know what to do. Should they call the authorities? A few minutes later, the owner came out of the back room. He was white as a ghost. He told the bartenders that the alien had told him that he was going to destroy the bar and kill all of the bartenders. The owner was terrified and he ran away. The bartenders were left alone. What would happen next? Pretty crazy, right? All that was generated by AI. So what we did afterwards, because the, the phrase, um, should they call the authorities was coming up quite often during the uh, during the story. So we decided to get once again, call upon the AI to create a cocktail recipe for us called, should they call the authorities? Don't have grapefruit. Okay, can we sub grapefruit for something? I'm gonna do pineapple. You do cranberry, uh, Vino, you do- Pineapple. You do, um, pineapple. Pineapple, I'll do orange. All right, let's go for it. There we go. We decided, because we didn't all have the same juice, we decided to each do a version of, of that drink um, using the ingredients we had on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and make my version. And then, um, as mentioned before, you go over to Vino's channel, to David's channel, and you check out their version. So let's go make Should They Call the Authorities. Okay, so first thing, I just want to apologize for the my GoPro decided to corrupt the footage, so we got no POV footage, so we just got to stick with the, the one angle. We're going to start with an ounce of our apple brandy. I'm using a local um, apple brandy. For our overproof rum, we're using Plantation OFTD. It's a great overproof rum. An ounce of that as well. And after that, we've got the OJ. That was my juice selection. And... I'm using fresh squeezed orange juice. I think uh, you really want to go with uh, fresh fresh juice, not box juice for this. Um, you know I'm not a big fan of uh, OJ in cocktails, but that ounce of lemon juice is really going to help balance it out, I think. And then here, then a restrained ounce of uh, simple syrup or demerara syrup. I was a little worried about that full ounce, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, um, off screen shake because I'm missing the angle, and we're gonna do a straight dump into a rocks glass. No need to, uh, you know, to strain. Just dump it right in. Garnish with a lemon, lemon slice, and there you have it. Should they call the authorities? All right, let's go taste it. All right, so here it is, a cocktail generated by AI based on a story generated by AI. This is pretty fun. That's, man, that's really good. It's very refreshing because a lot of there's an ounce of lemon and an ounce of orange, so it's very citrusy, very lemony. Um, you get a night you do pick up on the apple from the uh, the apple brandy, um, but you and you get that punch from the from the overproof rum. I thought an ounce of of syrup would have been too much, but it is surprisingly well balanced for for a cocktail generated by a machine, a recipe made by a machine. This is absolutely delicious. Ah, very nice. Okay, so as I mentioned, go over to David's channel to see part one of the, of the story, should they call the authorities, and go over to Vino's channel, 60 Second Cocktails, for part three. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh, you guys didn't think I'd finish the episode without Odin, did you? So this is Doll E, another uh, AI platform where we can upload an image with no background. Here's a Odin, and we can give it a prompt, say a dog uh, holding a drink, uh, sitting in a bar in space. 
So you know, it's on point. We hit generate, and in no time at all, this is gonna provide us with some renders. And <laughs> here we go. Oh boy, they really did a number on his head. Uh, wow, okay, uh, which, one's, which one's closest? Um, hmm. I'd say <laughs> I like this one here. It's not, it's not really getting the space portion of it. And that drink's looking a little weird. It looks like a, a burnt lemon garnish. But uh, anyways, uh, this was fun, guys. Cheers.